What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another detailing video. I'm RJ. I'm Brent. And that is a 2007 Mazda 3 owned by a baseball coach who smokes a ton of cigarettes on the inside. And uh, it's also pretty hairy, pretty dirty, dusty, stinky. So if, you, <laughs> if that's your forte, stay tuned. We think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. So as you can see, his car was full of garbage, including water bottles and cigarettes, which definitely gave the vehicle a really bad odor, along with his softball equipment, ashes, and pet hair, which definitely will make for a satisfying transformation for you guys to enjoy. And also, we just want to remind you that we're still putting Amazon gift card codes in every video, so keep an eye out for that and comment below if you find it. Before taking out the seats on the interior of the vehicle, we can go ahead and pop the hood and disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. That way we don't end up throwing any seatbelt or airbag codes after we unclip all the clips underneath each seat. Give it a little wiggle and we're good to go. So we don't usually show us taking out the seats or the process that goes behind it, but just to show you guys what most vehicles require in order to remove the seats are two bolts here and here. And then two more bolts here and here. And these actually had plastic covers that we had to pop off before removing the bolts. We'll put those back on at the end. After removing all four bolts, the next step is to lift the seat up and check to see how many clips are underneath. Uh, they usually house the airbag sensor and the seatbelt sensor. Uh, this is actually just all one big clip. I've never seen anyone like it. So we had to pry open a little tab on the left side and then the whole entire unit pops out. Once everything's removed, the next step is just to go ahead and actually remove the seat as carefully as possible without scratching any interior plastics. RJ and I were wondering if you guys would be interested in a bonus video where we do a Q&A and also give you advice on how to start and build your own detailing company, along with some tips and tricks we use to make our customers happy. Leave a comment below if that's something you'd be interested in, and feel free to leave any questions you'd want us to answer as well about us, how we met, how we got into detailing, or something that might not even have to do with detailing or YouTube at all. And also, we noticed that less than 7% of the people watching our videos are subscribed, so if you enjoy this type of content, feel free to subscribe so you never miss a future video. A quick tip to make vacuuming a lot easier and more effective for you is to use the round drill brush attachment to loosen up any dirt or debris that your vacuum would normally miss. So we'll normally vacuum once completely, then drill brush it and then vacuum again.
Whenever you're doing a car for a customer and you have to pull the seats out, it's always a good idea to do the driver and passenger seat first so they have time to dry as much as possible before you give the car back. And one tip I haven't heard most detailers on YouTube give is to let your client know that they should try and leave at least two windows cracked overnight so the water left in the car has some way to escape. If you don't and it gets hot outside, the water will end up covering your windows and windshield and it just makes everything look bad. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars But the dark gets lonely Now I see violet, I can feel silence And the dark's all that I see When your stars have burnt out And your heart makes no sound I'll find violet in your eyes You'll always be mine In the past, we've bought brushes off Amazon, and honestly, they're okay at best, but they don't last that long and they leave fibers behind that you just don't want. These work stuff brushes are way better quality and they outwork other brushes we've used by far. The bristles are fine enough to get into really tight areas, but resilient and stiff enough to exfoliate and lift dirt to the surface to be wiped away easily. They're a great investment to make, and if you're looking for a good brush kit, we'll leave the link to these down in the description for you to check out. This is 
This gear shifter knob was covered in grease and dirt, so make sure you don't forget to thoroughly clean them because they can get very disgusting. Ew.
I should mention that the carpet and upholstery solution we're using is made by 3D, and we recommend only using hot water in your extractor to make sure you don't leave any extra solution or dirt behind. All right, so what do you think of that detail, Brent? It was lots of fun. We're not sure why, but this one made us a little frustrated, even though we've done cars that were significantly worse. I don't know if it's because we haven't eaten yet today or if we're just tired, but Took a either, way, um, either way, the customer will be happy and hopefully you guys are happy with this video as well. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with our notifications on. And RJ and I decided that we wanna start kinda of highlighting people who are in the detailing space in YouTube, making satisfying or great videos um, just like we do. So we're gonna start leaving a link to specific videos down in the description that you guys could check out after our videos are over. And we decided that this week we want to give our shout out to Detailing is JC. He's supported us since day one and uh, we've tried to reciprocate. He's a great guy and he's got great content. So. Yeah, so his link will be down in the description to a specific video. Go check it out. Tell him that we sent you. And if you guys have any other detailers that you watch that you'd want us to promote, 
leave a comment below. And other than that, we will see you guys next Friday. Make sure you sub to the channel. Peace.